Hi, my name is Samantha and welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to show you how I store all my show items. Let's get into it. I previously had a subscriber ask me how do I store all of my craft show stuff when I'm not at a show? The answer is I have stuff in multiple different places. The majority of my inventory is in my office in the um, closet. Um, my big items such as my tables and my wagon and my large displays those are either in the trunk of my car or in a closet somewhere in the house. Um, you know, I do live in a three bedroom house with just my boyfriend and I. So thankfully we do have quite a few closets. Um, let me show you how I have my stuff, the inventory in the closet. It's pretty jam packed, but um, it helps keep it, you know, neat and out of the way. Okay, here is what my crazy closet looks like. So the majority of my show stuff are in these bins right here. These blue bins are like extra things. So like these two bins here are extra show things because different shows require different things. And I've got some other extra things over there. So the majority of the stuff is these bins, this bag, this bag. This bag has, um, what's it called? Tablecloths. That trash bag has tablecloths. That's my bag of like all, all my things that I need. And then I also have like this bag here, which has some displays. So usually that's like thrown on top. And then right now I also have a bag of towels right here. I have more towels over here. And then I had a bin downstairs and I brought it up to organize, but here's another bin of stuff. And then I also have things in my car. Here is what my car looks like. So I've got a flashlight because it's dark in here, but I've got my wagon and one of the chairs and then all of my just car stuff. I also have my checkout bin sitting back there. So the wagon is going to go on the floor in the back seat here. So the wheels will go on the floor. It'll sit up so that I can get it out of the car fast. And then we're gonna start loading up with the tables. Then the chairs, I'm gonna bring two chairs and then I'm gonna put the little bins and the bags in the back here. And the other bin, sorry, the big bin will sit on the back seat here. So let me load it up and I'll show you how I do it. Okay, I just reorganized and this is how it's looking. So this side is two of everything. So two, so these are all the singles, but then two of all of the towels, um, four or any count of the, um, sorry, four or less of the jar openers. Here's all the back stock jar, back stock jar openers. And here is the back stock of the towels. So most of these are two or more. And so I'm gonna take this with me and then this bin, I might take it with me and just leave it in the car so that I have it with me. Um, same thing with those, I don't know. It depends on how much space I have in the car, but I don't mind taking these and leaving them in the car. Um, I won't take them in with me and I'm just taking this stuff for the jar openers and the towels. Here is what I have for a typical one day show. So I've got three um, tables. I've got my banner and my sign holder, um, some towel display items. I've got my bag of goodies. I have a whole video on what's in that bag. I've got towels, jar openers, jar openers, uh, extra towels, signage and display items. And then I have coasters, soap towel pouches, more display items. And in, then in the car, I'll show you what's in there. I've got the wagon and something else, uh, the chair, um, the chair that I have. So I will go load this in the car and show you what I have in the car. Here is my base. So this is actually my first time loading this car. So um, it, it didn't, it's not as deep as I thought. So I have a flat base here. So now I can put the chairs across. Are loaded up. So I've got tables, chairs, my checkout bin, I've got a mat here. This is just a kitchen mat that I put in a big trash bag. And then I have my sign here. I'm gonna pull these chairs out a little so the sign can drop down so I can see out the rear view mirror um, uh, through the back. And then in the back seat here, I have my displays on the ground, another display, the um, towel items. And I've got my little bins in the middle. I've got the wagon easily accessible. If the wagon was down here at the bottom, it completely defeats the purpose of having it because then how are you gonna use it when you get to your destination? So having it right here, I just pull it out and then I start in the back. I bring all this stuff in first and then I grab this other stuff. 
Two reasons. One, I've got the wagon here. This is the heaviest stuff. Plus, this is the least valuable, quote unquote, or least likely to get stolen because I'm gonna take this wagon in with this stuff and then I'm gonna have to leave my booth to come all the way back outside to go grab my inventory. So if I can do this in two rounds, one round for the display items and one round for the um, uh, inventory, then I will always be with my inventory. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. And I can fit all six of my tables if I needed to, if I had a bigger space in longer days, I would fit all six in the wagon at one time. And if I needed to, I could also fill this up higher to have someone in the back seat, but I am flying solo, so I don't need to. And the entire passenger seat is empty. So I've got everything in the back seat there. So food is obviously a big aspect. So I went and I bought these big things of Naked from Walmart and I just put some Naked in a cup and then I have some Uncrustables. So this is my breakfast and my lunch. Obviously I'd like to have something else more in depth, but at least I have this. In addition to the Uncrustable and the Naked Smoothie, I also have some Chex Mix, some Velveeta, two Nature Valley bars, one that's protein, one that's like kind of a dessert and some grips. So I'll put all this in my lunchbox, take it with me so I know I have something to eat. Obviously it's better to have a hot lunch, but this is better than eating nothing. Oh, here is my tent and my weights. So they just sit in the garage because I don't use them very often. And this is just the um, normal Walmart tent. I got it when it was on sale. I think I paid like $70. Uh, I'll be using that next weekend. But that is where I keep everything and that's how I load the car. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and have a wonderful day.